My name is Victoria Messer, and I am 16 years old and a sophomore at Jonathan Alder High School. I am here today to talk to you about my wonderful big sister, Lori Hendrickson, and how much fun it has been to have a big sister. I was six years old when I first met Lori, and we have been together ever since. I do not remember a lot about the first time that I met her, but I do remember that I was a little scared and nervous. I have never been nervous or scared since. Lori has done so much for me, and I am so thankful that she's in my life. We have done so much together, like roller skating, working on all kinds of fun projects, doing schoolwork, swimming, and both for kids' sake. I think that our car rides together when we just talk about everything, and I tell her what I am doing and things that I want to do one day are my favorite times. She always gives me good advice, and she always tells me that she is so proud of me. I get good grades and have been on the honor roll. Lori and Doug reward me for every A that I get, and I have gotten so many that they said they were running out of ideas for rewards. They told me that they would come up with more rewards soon, because I told them I plan on getting a lot more A's. I wish that all kids could have a big sister or big brother in their life. Not only is a mentor fun, but they will help kids to achieve their goals and help you plan for the future. That is what Lori has done for me, and I am so happy that she is in my that she is my big sister. Thank you, big brothers, big sisters, and Miss Ida for giving me a forever friend. Very good. Thank you. There's a lot of people out here. <laughs> okay. First, I want to thank everyone from Big Brothers Big Sisters for this nomination. A special shout out to Ida Williams, my caseworker. I have three numbers for Ida, her work number, home number, and cell number, and I've called her at all three over the years. Thank you, Ida. Also, a big thank you to my husband, Doug, for his support to me and Victoria. He has often joined Victoria and myself at events. Plus, it helped to have a third for card games, Scrabble, or Clue. <clears throat> Our 10-year journey. When Victoria and I were first matched, she still had her baby teeth. From age 6 to 16, first grade to sophomore. Our relationship has grown closer over the past 10 years. Early in our match, Anywhere we went, Victoria could spot a playground a mile away. This sixth sense she had magnified from baby teeth to no front teeth ages. Over the years, Victoria and I have done so many activities together, more than I can mention during this speech today. We didn't stop at every playground she honed in on, but we stopped at many of them during our travels. Gone from not necessarily shy, but not always speaking up for herself, Victoria has developed confidence and found a voice during these 10 years. She's blossoming into a self-assured, independent young adult. I'm so proud to be her big. To me, being a big sister to Victoria is being a cheerleader to her, telling her she can do it and always cheering her on no matter what it is, big or small. One of the many activities Victoria had was swim lessons. And during the second year of swim lessons, we stayed to have fun at the pool. Victoria wanted to go down the slide, thinking this year she'd be tall enough. When she stood and stretched, so she would be even with the sign that read, you must be this tall, my heart broke when she was not tall enough. I mentioned to her that the diving boards at the pool did not have a height requirement. Her eyes twinkled at this, and we soon marched over to the diving boards. She waited in line, Doug and I so excited, camera ready, waiting for her turn. She stepped up to the ladder to the back of the diving board, and we're cheering her on. She walked to the end of the diving board, and we're, her, we're cheering her on, you can do it, you can do it. And she stops, turns around, goes back to the ladder. <laughs> Getting her nerve up, she walks to the end of the diving board, stops. You can do it, we said. And she turns around, walks back to the ladder. 
This back and forth went on quite a few more times, but she did it and we caught her in an action shot of her first jump off the diving board. After that, there was no stopping her. You might have noticed that was the uh, highest of the diving board there. <laughs> In the 10 years, we've both had various hairstyles, long, short, bangs, no bangs. While our hair lengths have changed, our relationship has remained steady and continues to grow. Victoria, as I mentioned, is in 10th grade and has been to 12 different schools. I admire many things in Victoria, but I admire most is her adaptability and how she accepts and deals with this so maturely. How many adults here today could learn to refine this skill, adaptability? Victoria is on track to graduate high school, the first in her family to do so. She is excited about this and talks of college to continue her education and make a more stable life for herself. Our conversations have gone from playgrounds, various camps and craft projects, to discussions about jobs, work, to driving, <laughs> to what her apartment might look like. Car rides consist of dreams, silly things, serious topics, lots of laughing, no matter what our destination, it truly was the journey to, to them that was often the most fun. During one of our car rides, Victoria was telling me about how she was going to decorate her apartment. She shouted with joy, and I'm going to have a crouton to sleep on. <laughs> she meant, of course, to say futon. We had one of our funniest laughs ever in the car. It's an honor to be on this journey with Victoria and that she allows me to be a part of her life. In years to come, I can't wait to go over to her apartment, sit on her crouton, <laughs> and continue to cheer her on saying, you can do it. Thank you.